All right, so for such a long time, one of the major frustrations with my iOS devices is that I felt like it was a closed ecosystem. It was difficult to move stuff to the device and difficult to get it off. With the larger files that I'm sort of dealing with now using my main phone as my recording device, this adapter right here solves that problem. Hey everyone, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we're gonna take a look at this adapter for your iPhone lightning port, or you can also get one that's similar for the iPad in a USB-C form. In a nutshell, this adapter is touted to be a camera adapter, but in a much better light, it basically adds a USB port to your iOS device, allowing for way more than just a camera connection. You can basically take a USB device plug it straight in and use it on your phone. Anything from a USB flash drive to an external hard drive to a keyboard, headset, USB microphone, the list goes on and on. So I'm going to walk you through using it and hopefully open a whole new world of peripherals for your iOS devices. Okay, so this small device is an iPhone, iPad, USB 3 camera reader OTG adapter with a 3.5 millimeter headphone audio port, as well as a pass through for the lightning charging port and a USB port. On the go just basically means an on the go adapter. It's a, it's sometimes called OTG cable or OTG connector. And it just basically allows you to connect a full size USB flash drive or USB A cable to your phone or tablet through the micro USB, USB C, or lightning charging port. It supports up to 60 to 90 megabyte per second read write speed, but it is to note that on any device running iOS 12 and before, you can only write to the phone rather than both ways. But anything after iOS 12, can read and write just fine. And like I said, it basically has a charging port that passes the charging power from here straight into your device, but it also helps to power any larger devices that might have higher power needs. Something like a USB flash drive doesn't need extra power, but something like an external hard drive might. The 3.5 millimeter jack supports headphones with or without a microphone. And of course, the icing on the cake is the USB-A port for hooking up your devices. So let's go ahead and just jump into some use cases here to demonstrate some of the types of USB devices that are supported. So first up, let's take a look at a USB flash drive. Let me just grab my flash drive out of my tech kit here. If you're interested in a video on this, I'll put it up here in the top right corner. So this is just your average ordinary flash drive. I've got my older iPhone 7 here as a test device plugged in currently because it's low on power because I don't use it that often. So let me go ahead and unplug it. We will plug the adapter in and I will just power it up to make sure it doesn't die on us. So simply take the USB flash drive and plug it in to the adapter. And what that does is it basically mounts the flash drive onto your phone. So in the files app, you'll now see USB drive I'll go in there and here's all the files that I actually have on that flash drive. I'm gonna go ahead and take this file right here. We can play it if we want, daily tech tips. Or if I want to, I can copy, move, share, all the standard stuff you can do in sort of this contextual menu. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select this one and I'm going to put it to my camera roll, save video. Now, if we jump back out to the Photos app, you can see that that file is actually there. Okay, so now if you want something a little bit bigger, I'll take out the flash drive. And if we hop back, you'll see the flash drive is gone. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this external SSD and I'm gonna plug it in. Now this one does need the extra power, so I'm gonna leave this plugged in because my phone still is pretty low on battery, but let's go ahead and plug it in. And now you can see that external SSD has popped up in the files app. So I'm gonna go into the external SSD and you can see the larger files that I have. You can see that this one here is about 1.28 gigabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it and I'm going to move, I'm actually gonna move it to my VLC app because maybe I'm gonna to wanna to watch it on my phone. I'm gonna hit copy. And in the top right corner, you get a little indicator showing you how long or how much time you have left to copy. So let's go ahead and let that finish. It's moving pretty quick for 1.2 gigs.
Okay, so now that's done. So I can go back out to the browse, go to my phone, go into VLC, and you can see that that 1.2 gigabyte file is there. If I actually go ahead and open up the VLC app, go to my videos, there it is, ready to be watched. So you can see how that's pretty powerful. If I wanted to, I can do the exact opposite. I can go into my VLC app, grab all these. I can go into my Filmic Pro, or I use ProTake now. Go in there, grab this file, copy it, head back out to the external SSD, and paste it in. And there it is. I'm ready to take this over and transfer it to my computer and edit away. So I'm in my notes app. I'm going to take my Keychron keyboard here and simply just hook it straight up through USB. And there we go. Now I can type with a keyboard on my phone. Simple as that. I mean, it really does seem like whatever USB device you plug in here, as long as the phone supports it, this device makes it possible. Let's go. Go. All right, so you could try a mouse, you could try a keyboard. I think another powerful thing you'll want to try on your own is to go ahead and hook up a USB microphone. If you're trying to record on your phone, let's say some video, the built-in microphone isn't that great on the phones. So if you want to be able to hook up an external microphone, like a condenser mic or a lavalier mic, both would be a great option. Well, what did you think? Pretty cool, huh? If so, toss a like on the video so I know it helped you out and subscribe so I know what sort of videos you like. It really does help a lot and I would really appreciate it. So thanks again. And this is Carl from Technical Goodies and I'm out.